right, we got a no cooling call. No hot air, so I'm assuming this is ours. Oh yeah, this one's pulling good hot air. This is a Goodman with a hard top. This is actually a, a man of distinction, but it's a Goodman, and it, but it's got the hard grill instead of the stamp grill. We have no compressor running. Wow, this thing's got a ball valve. It's a three ton. Is it? I wonder if there's something different about this unit. It's single face. Okay. It is dirty. We're gonna hit that disconnect and go grab some tools. All right. So we have another USA Mars capacitor. I don't know how old it is. I didn't put this one on, but it's a 45.5. If we go from Herm to Common, we're getting six microfarads. If we go from Fan to Common, we're only getting 0. 0.4. I don't even know how the fan was running. So we're gonna swap that out and see if that solves the problem, make the compressor start. Hopefully it's not in overload. But we're gonna find out. All right, we got the new 45.5 in there. This is a uh, Mexico made capacitor. We're gonna wire it up, common. From the contactor, purple is common from the fan motor on Goodman. And a mana. Brown is, well, let's do the yellow first. That'll be our hermetic. And then our brown is the fan. Now we're gonna hit the disconnect. She started. Compressor started. Got the quick gauge on there. But we're gonna let her run about 10 minutes. All right, I'm liking the way that looks. Got about 140 pounds of suction. Nice, sweaty, cold suction line. I mean, it's not ice cold because it's hot in there, but it needs a maintenance. You can see it's pretty dirty. I mean, it's not horrible, but that's pretty bad right there. But the rest of it is clean. It's just that back side. Let's check this back one behind me. All right, so we got our unit up and running, pulling good hot air. Pressures are looking good. This is a, oh, I see why. This is a 16 sear three ton. That's why it's got the hard top and all that. And it is from 2015. Okay. Gonna sign them up on a maintenance contract. Let me see what, what this one is. This is gonna be more of a 13 sear, I would imagine. This is, no, this is a SSX 16, another 16 sear. If the camera will focus, there we go. An SS 16 three ton. Yeah, it's from 09 though, so this one's out of warranty. And it's uh, pretty dirty too. So we're gonna sign them up on a two system maintenance. This one's pulling really good hot air. All right guys, so we got that Goodman system back up and running. And uh, I signed them up on a maintenance contract. Just the back side of the coils were dirty. I, and I'm, I took another call while I was there. Don't worry, Super Techs, they weren't dirty enough to where they're gonna hurt nothing. But we're gonna go back over there probably Tuesday, clean them up. Go up in the attic, check everything up there, capacitors up there, flush the drains. Just, you know, do a basic maintenance. And um, now we are headed to a system that they say is running but not keeping up. So we're going to go see if that's another capacitor or just low on gas. We may just combine these two calls into one video, but we may be combining both calls in the one video is what I meant to say. We'll see. Okay, so call number two is a little package unit 
the data tag is gone. I'm guessing a two and a half ton or a three. Almost flat on charge. We cleaned the condenser coil. Uh, everybody's out of stock on the refrigerants. All I have is MO99. So we're gonna fill it up with MO99. We've already removed the existing R22. And uh, I had to cut the drain and flush it. Now I'm gonna pour some of this thrift in there and uh, flush the drain out real good and fill it up with MO99 and get the system back online. It is leaking, but customer doesn't want to do anything about it right now. All right, the MO99 is going in. Put a new T here, flush the drain out. Data tag's gone. We're gonna put about probably four pounds and stop. Yeah, we'll get it up to about four pounds and then we'll start the machine. Look at this, an appliance cord powering this package unit. You gotta love that. The disconnect is uh, bypassed, so they went with an appliance cord to power the disconnect. Beautiful. Almost two pounds in, we'll go, we'll take it to four, start it up and then adjust from there. Uh, I have to take those panels off to get my clamps on for superheat and subcooling which I'm not really worried about because the system leaks, but so uh, let's see what happens. All right, so four pounds was a little too much. I ended up removing about a pound. I'm trying to take that little cover off right there where I put the M199 sticker, but that's electrical. So there's really no good place for me to get my clamps on. It's got a cover on it, so that's why the head pressure's a little high. That heat's bouncing off there, but she's pulling heat. And uh, it's cooling well on the inside. I'm gonna check it. All right, so we're pulling away from the package unit. Uh, he decided to go ahead and take a quote on a new package unit. It's a two and a half ton. The data tag is gone. But I, I, was, I, I was able to get a look at the compressor. It's got a Copeland Recip in it, and it's a 28,000 BTU compressor. So um, after they saw the bill today, well, I mean, that's because we did a conversion. You know, we, we pulled all the 22 out. We pulled a vacuum. We loaded it up with MO99. And so their bill was, I mean, you know, it was it was a pretty it was a little hefty and he's like man we got to get free on putting this thing every year it's gonna cost me this much every year and i was like well no sir i said we had labor today because we we, we had to remove your exist you know the remaining r22 that you had which wasn't much i mean it, it was almost empty and then we had to pull a vacuum and then we had to and i said no sir it's you had there was a lot of labor involved today i said you know, we had to take your existing R22 out, which wasn't much, it was almost empty. And um, we had to pull a vacuum, we had to load it up. You know, I had to, I, I checked temperature splits and all that good stuff. I said, you know, if you decide you wanna keep the unit from now on, we would just have to top it off every year with the MO99. And uh, he's like, ah. He said, how much is that? And I said, that's $100 a pound. And he's like, oh no. He's like, go ahead and work me up a quote on the new package unit. So. Got on top of the unit and uh, saw that it was a 28,000 BT. It's a little tiny mobile home, a little 14 by 60. It's an elderly couple, they live by themselves. And uh, saw that it was a 28,000 BTU compressor, which tells me that'd be a two and a half ton machine. If it was a three ton machine, that compressor would be more of a 30,000 BTU or like a 32,000 BTU, somewhere in that neighborhood. Being that it's a 28,000 BTU, I'm pretty confident that's a two and a half ton machine. And they don't need any more than two and a half tons on that little house. So we're gonna quote them out a, a, two, to, a two and a half ton ICP Comfort Maker uh, package unit because I don't use ring package units for two reasons. One, they're way priced out of the market. Like, a ring package unit is like $1,200 more my cost than a ICP. So, 
And second, Ream uses a micro channel condenser coil on their package units. And I don't know about the evaporator. I don't know if it's micro channel or not too, but I know the condenser is. The ICP package unit is copper tube aluminum fin and it's $1,200 cheaper. So we'll quote him out a Comfort Baker package unit and see if he wants to go with it. But that's all I got for you guys today, hopefully. Uh, tomorrow's the fourth. So I worked one call yesterday, two today, and hopefully tomorrow I can rest. I'm gonna go rest the rest of the day, hopefully. And uh, But I got a feeling I'm gonna be really busy tomorrow on the fourth. So thank you guys for watching. I really, really, really appreciate the support. Uh, don't forget about the Louisiana Facebook, HVAC Facebook group I created. Don't forget about the Louisiana Fa uh, HVAC Tech Facebook group. I created a Facebook group for Louisiana HVAC Techs only. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like right now. So if you live in Louisiana and you do HVAC, send a request to join this group. There's two security questions. Answer them. If you don't, I'm not letting you in. Okay? Let me say that again. Answer both questions or I'm not letting you in. And you must live in Louisiana and work HVAC. You must live and work in Louisiana in HVAC. Answer both questions or you're not getting in. For those of you that don't live in Louisiana, I have another Facebook group for anybody, anywhere. It's called HVAC Brotherhood. I'll put a picture of it right now of what it looks like. Ask to join that group. There's two security questions to that group. If you don't answer them, I'm not letting you in. Let me say that one more time because a lot of people don't seem to understand that. If you don't answer both security questions, I am not letting you in the group. And don't forget about the live streams once a week. I don't know what night. Pay attention to your YouTube uh, news feed. And I'll, I do a post of when I'm going to do it. We take I take live phone calls. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, join those two groups. And pay attention to your news feed. Follow my channel. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Press the little bell notification. And I'll put a post saying I'm going live tonight at whatever time. And I'm central time. And I put that. And there'll be a link to the video. And we take live phone calls. We cover all kind of different topics. Thank you guys for the support. We'll see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.